boom, 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 boom. Yeah. Shout out to Brandon Hall doing work, grabbing not only one player out of Arkansas, but two. Both of them safeties. Both of them with elite footwork. Both of them that like to hit. Amarion Robinson, four-star safety out of Little Rock, Arkansas. It's pledged his commitment to Oklahoma. And it sounds like the Sooners are not done with the fireworks. A lot of fireworks going to happen this weekend, so we've got to get excited. We're going to talk about Amarion. You know we got to watch the film. we got to go through the measurables and what he means to the secondary going forward. Before we do that, welcome to Unfair Sports. I'm your host, Jay. Thank y'all for pulling up to the channel. All right. Let's dive into Man Man, as they call him, Amarion Robinson out of Little Rock, Arkansas. His pledge to the Sooners, his measurables, and why it makes so much sense. You got to stick around for that because there's a lot to unpackage when it comes to Amarion and why your boy is excited. Let's take a look. As you look here at the measurables, Marion comes in roughly 5'11 and a half. I think he's closer to six feet because I saw him going up against Marcus Harris in some drills at the uh, Rivals 5-star event. He's a nice size. Roughly 185, 190-ish. Com- consensus and composite four-star safety out of Parkview Magnet School out in Little Rock, Arkansas. And, you know, 247 has him listed as a top 300 player in the four-star range, even though they don't have him, they have him as a three-star. And you can see here as well, Rivals has him as a top 125 player in the country overall. Top 15 safety. Dude's a beast, and I think he's the best player in Arkansas. But it's between him and, to me, Marcus Wimberly. But that's not the argument here. We got to talk about why He's a big deal of a pickup for us here at Oklahoma. You add him with the Marcus Wimberly, you know, the big safety coming in at 6'1", 200. We've seen him lift weights and the way he hits and dog. Wimberly was recruiting to Marion Robinson big time. You were seeing the social media posts of him trying to get him to come here, come home with me and all of that jazz. And the beauty of that is, is you bring both those two players in here to Oklahoma, Brandon Hall cooking with grease, right? I mean, last year's class from Boganowski and Reggie Powers the third, which ginormous pickup on that, right? You're adding in a Marion who was courted by all the big boys. He had offers from a lot of your big programs, Georgia, LSU, Oregon, because in the final battles between Oklahoma, Oregon, Arkansas, LSU was tinkering a little bit in there, and Georgia was still considered warm on that list. But the, he, you name them, team. They wanted them. You know, you had your Ole Miss, your Texas, your USC's, right? Your Michigan's wanted them, Florida State's. So he had all of the offers you want. So he ain't just, you know, some run-of-the-mill player. People recognized it. And so when you see the film, I was watching him at the Five Star Rivals event, and he was one of the MVPs on the defensive side of the ball. Brandon Drum, shout out to him over at OU Insider. They've got great insight on all of that. Please go check out their channel. You know they be dropping the goods. And he was there filming and dropping videos on social media. And dog, watching him battle Marcus Harris, watching him battle all them other elite wide receivers, Marion was getting some dubs in that, right? And we all know these one-on-one drills are always a disadvantage for the defensive player. It's all based upon, you know, the wide receiver and the quarterback knowing their routes and the wide receiver going ahead and executing it. The defender's got to figure it out on the fly. And so it's a disadvantage on purpose, but at the same time, you're able to see the closeout speed, the thought, the the, the awareness on the field. Marion got all that, man. Man, man is a beast. He's got some elite footwork, man. You see him chopping his feet when he do when he gets back, and then then immediately turning his head and looking for the ball. He does a great job of finding the ball, seeing where the ball is located, going after that bad boy, right? So, and of course, you know, high school, he was cooking, right? He was a prep All American second team in the secondary, just you know, as a as a freshman, right? He's one of those players that. Yeah, he could, he contributed on both sides of the ball. He was a special teams dude. He would do his return game. You know what I'm saying? He played a little wide receiver. But at safety, man, he has a good chance of being at the elite level based upon just his work ethic and his ability to play. And so I know that when it comes to his decision, there was a lot of factors. You know, he's like an Oregon. And we know that Marion has an 11-month-old child back home. And so... That distance is probably something that's going to be in consideration. It is in consideration for him, and it makes sense in one of the articles I read. And so what does 
Omari and Robinson mean to this class? Let's talk about that, right? So you add him with the Marcus Wimberly, and then, you know, the rest of the class is already basically filled out with having like Malik Hawkins as well as Cortland Guillory, and then throwing in there Tristan Haynes, the corner, right? So you got Tristan Haynes, all the Carl Albert kids basically is who we, we snatched up. Marcus Wimberly, Cortland Guillory, you know, throwing in Malik Hawkins. That secondary is a pretty solid haul for Jay Valai as well as Brandon Hall. They brought in a lot of elite talent. Now, I know a lot of people were wondering about the Jonah Williams stuff, man. Nobody knows what the heck's going on with that situation. It sounded like that the crystal balls that were going in by the competitors scared Jonah away from Oklahoma in some capacity. I don't know. Maybe he decides to come back here to look at baseball. But, you know, he was looking at A&M. Now he's looking at, probably looking at Texas and Oregon. The prediction went in for Oregon, so I'm assuming he's scared off from that one too. He was scared off from A&M. I don't know. We'll see what happens. But all I know is having a Marion Robinson and having Marcus Wimberly, Oklahoma picked up a pretty solid class at the linebacker spot, right? Y'all like hitters. Marcus Wimberly's a hitter, and so is Man Man. So with the elite footwork and his ability to play defense, dog, Oklahoma, to me, won. Let me know what y'all think. Hop in the comments. Let your boy know your thoughts. How y'all feeling about Marion Robinson picking Oklahoma and being all in for the Sooners? If you've made this far, you like the content, go ahead and hit that like button if you're new to the channel. Subscribe. Would love for y'all to join this family, college football fans, talking OU football, college football in general, and having a blast doing it. All right. This may have been one of two. This is all pre-recorded because we had a feeling this was going to go down. So hopefully we got more commitments coming up. Or hopefully this is the second one of the day. We'll see. We'll chop it up soon. Peace.